And now, it's time for Socially Awkward Media with LeVac and Goss. Awkward on 104.5 The Team. Social is awkward today. I love I it. I think, like, like Goss is a little under the weather. He's playing He's playing hurt. Good for him. But I think he's dragged us all into some kind of <laughs> some kind of psychosis with him. You're all on the same drugs I'm on right now. Just, just falling away. I just want to point one thing out. Nobody has more insight than Jeff LeVac in the world of sports. And fashion. <laughs> I'll, I'll get Roger to add that yeah, this yeah, week. That's right. <laughs> it is socially awkward media. It's the best, the worst, the most awkward of everything on social media. When it comes to 104.5, the team, you can be a part of the conversation all day long, 24-7, by going to Facebook.com slash 104.5, the team, at 104.5, the team on Twitter, at the Jeff LeVac, L-E-V-A-C-K for LeVac, at I am Matt Woods, as Woods' account and my account, at Tom Goss. T O M G O Z Z. Now, Woods, I want to keep you in the room here for one more. My because... grandma beats me constantly. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Uh, somehow, some way, this has become a new tradition in 2018 on socially awkward media. You versus Harold on Facebook. Right. Well, because the Twitter terrier does not stay in the yard, man. No. And Harold is producer Woods. <laughs> I think Harold wants to get bit. And he enjoys getting bit. Harold started off today by saying, "Tomorrow, the new favorite for the New York Giants head coaching candidacy and job will be." Matt Woods. Finally, we can agree on something. I mean, Harold, you're not wrong there. Yes, he is. He's 100% wrong. No, he's not. I, I would. I, I mean, I should be the front runner for the when job. I know it, what I'd be doing. So, When's the last time you ran for anything? Don't remember. <laughs> well, Beck, when do you think the rivalry is going to end between Harold and Woods on Facebook? Hopefully, like, Harold comes out Saturday and they oh, have cool. a Bud Light together and, and the hug. Terrier comes out. I have a Bud Light. I'll buy my Bud Light. How you can't buy you a Bud Light? <laughs> well, yeah, it's a, I'll just uh, you know make sure you're near me, and then oh. you know, hey, can I get a couple <laughs> bucks for a Bud Light? And you know, I am not the bank of the show. We're gonna move on to Donald. <laughs> Donald wrote this, and Donald wrote in: Sienna will survive without Nico Clareth. Coach Jimmy Patos will adapt the team moving forward, and before too long, we'll all be talking about how the Saints rule the MAC. That's pretty positive by Donald. It's probably the most positive I've heard of anybody involved in the Nico Clareth. <laughs> Stuff. It's a you know the theory of addition by subtraction. You got a guy who's not exactly team first. You get rid of him. The, the the younger players see that nobody's safe, and they all get together and, and listen to the message. It's entirely possible. I mean, it, it's a down year for the MAC. We talked about this. I there's still got a, there's a lot of growth that has to happen on that team for them to go take over the MAC. I think his comment along with this next one here from AJ's I find interesting because AJ wrote. Big game for Siena tonight against Iona. Interesting to see how this team reacts to everything. Because, look, they may play better team basketball. I don't think I'm going to doubt that. Team basketball, but what does that mean? Does that mean you're a closer team to beating Iona? Does that mean you have the talent this season in comparison to last season? you got to find it, out who's going to take that last second shot, too. But even if they could beat by, let's say they could beat by like 18 tonight against Iona. Is anybody going to scream and say, oh, my God, Siena got crushed. He could have. Like they're going to wait for the Nico thing. It's not going to be one game tonight. And they're, oh, yeah. they're a young team. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. yeah you get, the room for error is very small right now for this Siena Man, team. Man, even defending back-to-back conference champions, I think if it was against, like, I'll just toss a school out there, like a Canisius or like a St. Peter's, I could see the backlash. But maybe Iona, you get a pass for tonight. Uh, don't. Timmy, t- don't. <laughs> Timmy wrote this in. Timmy wrote in, by far the greatest Monday night football replacement for John Gruden next year is... Tom Brady, please, please, please. What do you think Tom Brady would would actually talk? Because I'm no. I'm willing to bet that it, at some level Tom Brady's very entertaining, but I don't see him sharing that. I think he's too smart. Like, remember he he, he texted about pool cover colors and people freaked out on him. Like, if you're Tom Brady, you've learned. The public will attack me no matter what I say. I ain't saying nothing. Entertaining in what way? Like entertaining like a dad of somebody who dances and it's like a funny video on YouTube. Entertaining like he's a crazy competitor. They got that documentary of him coming out soon. Yeah, it's Tom versus Time on Facebook. Yeah, dates still like like what would Brady do? Would he be like corny dad jokes? I don't know. Remember, he's got like he has a he has a good social media game. Like when he does, you know, he's very funny on there. So I think he would be funny. I just don't know if you could ever get him to be. Tony Romo. Well, he's, yeah, not, yeah. he's not yeah. going to be a Tony like, Romo. Like, Romo doesn't care if you like him or not. He's got a beautiful girl at home and a whole nine, whatever. Where, where Brady still is, like, 
just leave me alone. Let me eat my avocado ice cream. <laughs> I think Peyton Manning would be interesting, man. By the way, Here I think that was the Jets fan that wrote that. He just wants Tom Brady out of the picture so they can actually compete. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fair. Somehow he would win from the booth, though. Yeah. <laughs> this I started to enjoy because remember earlier in the week when we did the top 10 championship walk-off moments of all time? And we had some people give us some agreements, disagreements. But somehow, some way, people started to yell at LeVac about the list even though it was my <laughs> list. Like, in particular, Steve yelled at LeVac on Twitter and said, how can the Patriots Super Bowl win last year not even be in the top five walk-off championship moments, LeVac? It was not even your list. You're going to yell that. LeVac, come on. Well, the best part was, like, at least, and he adhered to my like to most of my rules. Like, if you're going to criticize Gaz's list, you've got to tell me which one you're taking off and which one you're putting on. So at least he came with one he was putting on, but then he didn't tell me which one to take off, and he blamed me. <laughs> For a list I didn't author. But, you know, hey, man. We, we, One step forward, two steps yeah. back. <laughs> you you think you're getting married in June. It happened over a year ago when you started sitting in that chair. I guess so. JGB. JGB what wrote JGB? this. In, yeah, JGB wrote this in the show. He wrote, uh, LeBron James, remember the quote about LeBron getting mad about his plus minus stats? Yeah, I love it. And LeBron was yelling that I don't care about my plus minus. JGB wrote it and wrote, LeBron James should be able to say whatever he wants. Have you guys seen his true shooting percentage this season? <laughs> Oh, I love it. Very well done. Well played. This dilly is, dilly. Yeah, this is where it started to definitely take an awkward turn here on Socially Awkward Media. Timothy. Now, we had a Timmy earlier. Now, we have a Timothy. Timothy, out of the blue, tweeted this to me. I have not talked to Timothy in two years. <laughs> Timothy wrote, hey, for some strange reason, I kind of miss you, guys. Royal Rumble party at your parents' house this year? Smiley face. Timmy's real name, Jordan? <laughs> right? Oh. Gotta get so, some more afros. I haven't talked to this dude in two years. He's trying to invite himself over to my parents' house in Syracuse to watch a WWE pay-per-view. I, I didn't know how to respond. I said, <laughs> okay, like, yeah, I don't live in Syracuse. I don't want you to come to my parents' house. I, I kind of miss you, Spicy ginger without being too sweet. Yeah, it, it was very awkward. But I'll move on. I, hey, yeah? he was thinking about you, I, man. I, I guess so. This is one of your, I think I'd say this is one of your all-time favorite comments in the history of Facebook on 104.5 The Team. Nick wrote in, Hey, Lovac, no one, and I mean nobody, is talking about how Jacksonville had a buy in week one. They're tired. They're beat up. Look out for the Bills to hang around and pull the upset win 17-14. to 14. To which I replied, because they had a buy in week eight, it was Miami and Tampa <laughs> who had a buy in week one. And then he dropped my favorite comment of all, because I probably would have deleted my comment. <laughs> but then he followed up with... Did he say something like, oh, is that why nobody's talking goes, about it? Hence why no one is talking about it. <laughs> Have a good day. And I was like, good for you for just having fun with it. That was my... Because I was sitting there, like, I looked at him for a second, and I went... No. And then I like it all came to mind. If you're going to make a mistake, own it. Like I, I love that. That was funny. That like, was well Yeah, loved. man. Like a few months ago on our Facebook page, someone said, there's no chance in the world the Yankees would ever get John Carlos Stanton. And they did like 48 hours later, and the person did not delete their comments. So shout out to you guys. Then we had people trying to one-up each other. We had Taylor who had a nice comment who wrote in, after three years of trying, I think this is the year I win the 104.5 the team Super Bowl send-off trip. Right. Okay, that's good. But then this happened. Michael wrote, I'll give up a finger. To win the Bud Light Super Bowl send-off trip. Well, because we did the, there was that, there was, um, I can't think of the name of the company, but they did a a poll. Would you give up a hand to watch your team win the Super Bowl? And Woodsy was like, dude, finger, no problem. And I said, I'll do a, I'll do a pinky for all four teams in one calendar year. And These are nuts. I do, I do a finger per team. What? I think, I think that's justifiable. Dude, do you are you counting fingers? soccer too? Oh heck yeah! Because I'm probably never going to see my soccer team win. Oh so wait, goodness. so you're you're talking you're talking Yankees, Yankees, Giants, Pence. Knicks, Liverpool, and and to, heck Syracuse. Let's have, throw Syracuse. So in you there. LSU. you would have a stub. You would L- have, LSU. There you, I'm I'm off I'm off at one hand. You can only count to four. Yeah, that's too far. And guys, you have yeah. a gimp finger anyway. Like your one finger. Yeah, does. you might as well just cut it off. No, I need right. this. I need all my fingers. No, because it's the creepiest thing. Yeah, how else is he? Well, like how when God point? points at you and like his other finger starts like like doing mean. shadow puppets. I can I can never tell if he's flipping me off he or is. if or like if he's. He There's is. something wrong with that finger. I'm not okay. even trying to like give people the finger or like point at him. Like my finger won't bend. It's terrible. Last one, Shia, by the way, wrote, "I'd give up an arm." In an arm, she said she'd give up to see the Bills beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl. I would, like, like, how far would you really go? 
I would go. E- I would easily go finger and toe, finger or toe. You one. wouldn't realistically. No, you wouldn't. If it meant that I, in some cases, I, I think I actually would. I would probably go so. toe first. Yeah, but see, that's balance stuff, man. Remember the. Uh, I, I mean, I, 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 I got other. I got nine more toes. When you'll be able to figure that out. I thought that's how it was going to end. But when you're this loyal of a listener to the show, we got to give you props. Josh just tweeted into the show, and he had a reference to you, Woods. He goes. The last time Woods ran was that last piece of cake you guys had when he was off that day. Oh, right, right. Do you remember when we wow. put that? Like, I don't think most people remember that, <laughs> where you had an off day, we yeah. had cake here, and you came in to get the cake. Shout out to Josh for remembering that. <laughs> I don't know if that's creepy. That's awesome, that man. Is, it is awesome, though, but, like, that, I don't know. I don't even know what to say to that. I got, a, uh, I got two late entries. Oh, I love it. Mighty Egghead with the best one. Five minutes of my life, I'll never get back hearing fashion talk with you three, <laughs> which I couldn't I couldn't agree more. And then um, in the mail today, we got three shirts. Uh, uh, Jack over at Capital Team Apparel made us some special Super Bowl shirts. Put a little note in. Hope you guys have a great time on your Super Bowl trip. Uh, Jack, that's really awesome, man. We appreciate that. Yeah, they're awesome. Thank Shout you so Jack. much. And uh, that was so sh- That was uh, extremely awkward on an extremely awkward day. <laughs> Thank God we get to get professional. Field Yates with what he believes is going to happen with the Giants head coaching position coming up next.